I really want to talk about some very important information to a lot of my fans and followers. This is an issue that will be coming up anytime, probably in a couple of months or maybe in a few weeks from now. It's about the importance of quantitative easing 3. That's right. Anybody knows what quantitative easing 3 is? It's expanding the money supply, devaluing the currency, buying up to toxic liabilities, debt, assets, and they just basically purchase them and they print them. That's what this is really about. So this is a serious, serious, serious situation. It's I believe it's been done twice before. A lot of values of commodities have skyrocketed through the roof. And one of the things I'm really, really concerned about is not just the precious metals, but also petroleum itself because I believe oil prices are going to continue to rise. Gas prices are rising around my area. They're flirting with four dollars a gallon. Some are around 4.15 a gallon for unleaded, just to tell you the truth. And it won't just be quantitative easing three. If you look at other factors, you will find that there's a lot of foreign tension involved. You can see how there's possible international conflicts. That could bring up basically a rise in oil prices. So, and again, this will be very, very devastating to the automobile based society, as you can see right around here. And because right around we're very dependent on cars, and now they're enslaving us to buy high priced oil, and they're going to raise it so high so they get us out of it. Very, very crazy. Basically, there's a lot of things that will outperform dramatically. I believe commodities will continue to outperform. Watch out for that notice. It's going to be a very, very critical event. And one of the things you really, really want to do is, depending on your 401k plan, depending on your IRA, you have to stay out of it. Because I'm noticing that they're going to confiscate or mingle with people's IRAs or 401k plans, savings accounts. It depends on who you're with. But again, if I were you, I would get out, if I can, build an alternative fund, buy some gold, buy some precious metals, because you really, really have to be aware about this. So this quantitative easing, if you look at the trend, they announced it in early 2009. Then they announced it in summer of 2010, so that's one and a half years. One and a half years later, we're now in early 2012. Don't you notice a pattern? It could come sometime. So, and again, for short term, you could get into some paper assets, some mining equities. Some people stay away from them. Some people, they have long-term benefits. I would stay in them for in the next few months or probably about a year or two. So this is a very, very critical situation. And very, very devastating. As you can see here, the shopping center around where I live, you see a lot of vacancies right around here. So this is an available. There's a Verizon Wireless that just closed, a new Luna B store, which is not a huge chain, and that's pretty good. You know, even though those chain stores are dominating, some mom and pop stores are still, you know, hanging in there. But let's hope that they do, because we really, really have to have a wonderful foundation for our society.